Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to begin the introduction into the use of forums in Moodle. So let me go ahead and show you our objectives. We have two objectives for this particular video. Number one, our, the first one is we're going to explore the forum activity in Moodle. I will show you how to create a forum and I will show you how to deal with the different features. And then we're going to look at a specific type of forum the standard forum for general use. There are, as you'll learn in the video, there are many different types of forums. And over the course of several videos, I will show you how to use each one and I will demonstrate it in the video. So here I am, I'm logged into Moodle as a teacher. This is my experimental course for the videos. And so I want to click on turn editing on so I can add an activity. And so here you go. I'm going to add an activity. Um, we're doing forums, so I'm going to click on, let me go back, click on add an activity or resource, and then I'm going to go down here and select forum and click add, and it'll take me to the next screen. In this screen, wherever you see a red bullet, you have to do something. So I have to give my forum a name, so I'm going to call it example forum. If you want to, you can give it a description, but since there's no red arrow, there are red bullet, I do not have to do that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're not going to play with any of the options. I will explain the options in a future video. But um, in this particular video, we're going to look at standard form for general use. Notice how it's already selected. So we're going to do that and we're going to click save and display. And as you can see, here's my forum. There's, there's, no, there's nothing here yet because I haven't put anything in. If I want to, as the teacher or as, even as a student, I can click here, add a new discussion topic as so. And I have to put in a, a subject for it. So int introduce yourself and then I have to put in the message. So I'm going to ask students, please introduce yourself in this form. This is a very common first forum post in many classes that use Moodle or e-learning in general. And so after I do that, um, there's not a whole lot of other things that are available. If I wanted to, I can add attachments to this. Uh, again, you know, mood, uh, forums are so flexible that, they, that that can make them very frustrating. Um, you can do almost anything in them, basically. And so one option that Moodle has provided is you can place attachments. Um, you can also pin the discussion to the top, which we'll talk about that more later. And then uh, another unique feature to, for teachers is um, I can post notifications without delay. Normally when you post to a forum, there's a 30 minute delay. Um, and so this allows you to edit things in case you know you made a mistake or whatever. Since this is a video and we don't wanna wait 30 minutes, I'm gonna click on this box. This is normally a feature only available for teachers, by the way. And so then we click post to forum. And you can see right here, um, the first discussion is available. People who want to reply to this can do so by clicking on this. Now, this is what I've set up as a teacher. I'm now going to show you this from the perspective of a student so that you can see how a student will see this and I will respond as a student to this particular forum post. So here, I'm logged in as a student. Let me refresh the screen and you can see that the example forum is here. And so I'm gonna click on this. Please keep in mind that I'm a student right now. And oh, I can see that my teacher, Mr. Darren Thomas, has already posted something for me to do. And I click on this, introduce myself. And he tells me to introduce myself. And I have pretty much the choice to reply. And so I click right here. My name is <laughs> example student. <laughs> you can say something like that. And so you can see right here that notice how the options are slightly different. I don't have the feature to pin things and I cannot post without having to wait for the 30 minutes. So I click after I type in my response. I type in post to forum and it is done. Now, unfortunately, we would have to wait 30 minutes to see the response. <laughs> so it's probably not gonna be available quite yet on Moodle. Oh, it is. So you can see the student responded to this. And now remember, now I'm logged in as the teacher because I switched the screens. This is me as the student, student 2016. And now here I am as the teacher. So I click on introduce myself and I can read what the student said. I asked him to introduce himself and the student has posted and you can see I have more features than the student. I can you know, show the parent of this or I can delete it or whatever. These features are not that important for people who are new to Moodle. Now, let me slow down. I am now the student again. And so I'm going to go back here to the, to the forum 
And I, as a student, can also post my own topic if I want in this particular type of forum. So saying hello. Who else is taking? Who else is taking this class? This is my message for them. And so I click on post to forum. And now you can see that there are two topics saying hello and introducing yourself. So in Moodle, in the, in the general forum for standard use, you can post topics and people can respond to those topics or people can start new topics. Those are the two features that are very, very common in the um, forum for general, the standard forum for general use. How you use forums is very, very, very flexible. Um, I need to repeat that. There's no limit to how you can do it. Almost everything you can do in other activities in Moodle can be done in, a, in at least a clumsy manner when you're using the forum. So you really have to think and you really have to conceptualize what exactly it is you want to do in the forum before you just start creating them because it can go in so many different directions and the flexibility can be very frustrating for many people. So um, in this video, we showed you how to make a forum. We showed you how to post a topic, how to reply to a topic, and we even showed you things from the perspective of a student, how a student can reply to a topic by a teacher in a, in a forum for general use, and how even the students can make their own topics if they want inside the forum for general use. So I hope that this video was helpful and um, thank you for listening.